All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, bringing another episode, or I guess the uh, final episode, uh, episode 16. And in this episode, we're basically just going over what our total scores were, how many points we finished up with, and uh, basically who wins the uh, 50 mil, or who has to pay 50 mil to the other person. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed our series, and hope you look forward to the next one. All right, so I guess we'll kick it off with um, what are some things overall through all the 15 episodes in the past couple months that um, you think you did well and you, maybe some things you would have done differently that way maybe some people that are looking forward to make an Iron Man would, should do on their accounts. Uh, I'll let you start it off. Well, good. Um, I think one of the things that I did well was not planning. <laughs> As in, I should have planned more. Um, there was a lot of a lot of jumping around, um, and I think it has to do with not planning enough before I started the account. Uh, if I was to redo it, I would definitely go for uh, thieving right off the bat, thieving and agility. Um, they're just necessities. Uh, thieving for the fact that that's basically your only consistent way of getting Renar seeds. And Renar Seeds, obviously, is the only consistent way to get prayer pots. Um, so, yeah, Thieving and Agility is how I would re redo it if I if I uh, was to redo it. Yeah, you make a good point. I think I would definitely do the same thing early. And then when you start getting into the mid-game, I would go towards the Miscellanea, Giant Seaweed, and Bird Runs. That way you start to build your supply base. I think we kind of got into it late, and now we're struggling to get stats up for uh, quest. So, and then also I would worry less about the big things like the fire cape and barrels. Cause really I don't use barrels a ton, maybe just for boss fights. So the carols, I guess, and the arums, but that's about it. Um, and yeah, that's all I would say is somehow figure out how to get your supply base early on. And I think miscellanea and the bird runs and farming is a good method to do that. So, that's how I would yeah. approach it, mid-game. And I will do the same as what you said, early game. So, thieving and agility, early game. Yep. Uh, the and other, then, did, you, did you ever get full agility? Or, not full agility, full graceful? No, I'm actually, I'm still working on that actually right now. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's the other thing. I think getting that early definitely is uh, a time saver. Because whenever you're running around, buying stuff from shops, um, it's just that much more run you get. So... It saves you quite a bit of time. Yeah, yep. It's even just having a few pieces, you, you can see a big difference into how fast your run energy replenishes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not only a set effect, it's per piece as well. So. Yep. Okay. Now I'll switch over and we'll count up our scores and see who won. Okay, so for... Um, the point system, again, total levels is one point each. So my total level was 1550. And what was yours? Uh, 1510. Okay, so I won that one. I'll highlight that green. Okay, and then boss KC is one point each. What was your total there? Uh, 207. Okay, and mine was 274. So there I won by quite a bit. Um, I think it was from Winter Tote and Crazy Archaeologist. Pretty quick kills. Um, so yeah, I won up for almost about 70. So that's quite a bit of point difference. And then on the total level, I, I guess just from the start, I was kind of ahead the whole time. I think it was hard for you to catch up, right? Uh, no, I was actually ahead, I think, in the beginning. Oh, like early, early? Yeah. Yeah, early, early, I think I was ahead, and then uh, um, I had a IRL, um, I don't know how you call it, IRL appointment or something like that, that uh, took away some of my game playing time, and yep. I fell behind. Yeah, yeah, so then it was kind of, I think we, we were about the same distance apart for like the last couple months here, it seemed like, or not the couple months, but a couple weeks, so. Okay. And then next on tradables are three points each. How many did you have? Um, 57. 
57. Okay. I had 51 total. So you won the untradeables, but it was still pretty close. Uh, and those are basically um, like items that, like the torso that are not quest items, but you can't trade them. Uh, and like pets and stuff like that. So, And then for clue uniques, those are two points each. Um, what was your total there? Uh, 38. 38. And I had 30. I got pretty lucky on clues because I did quite a bit less. Okay, and then the final one is quest points. Is two points each. How many do you have there? Uh, 418. 418. And then I had 422, which I don't really know how that was possible. <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to beat me in quest points. I beat you in quests, but not in quest points. Right, to total <laughs> quests. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of crazy. Um, as you guys can probably tell already, I think I won. Yes, I did. So I won by about just under 100 points. So it was pretty close, really, because you could probably get 100 points in a couple hours doing chaos, crazy archaeologists. But we didn't really go for the crazy grinds. We just kind of progressed our accounts yeah. for better in the future, right? Um, yeah, like we either either one of us could have went and did like 100 crazy archaeologists just to get the upper hand in points. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's not about – you know, getting the upper hand in points. It's more so about progressing your account. Right. Yep. I agree. Alrighty. So I guess we might as well pay out the last 50 mil and call it an episode. Sounds good. Okay. Just showing uh, Marcus trade me the 50 mil. Trade. Trade. <laughs> Check the offer, man. Check the offer. Check it. You can get rid of that, you know. Yeah. Alrighty. As you can, as you can see, I'm pretty much naked because I had to sell like all my gear, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. But that's thanks. That's all right. That's okay. You'll get it back. Next is coming out. Oh so. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Next Any, is coming out. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching the series. Um, it was a really fun series. I really enjoyed actually create, doing a group Iron Man, uh, with someone else. It was a lot of fun doing a duo. So. Uh, look forward to more content in the future. I think our next thing is going to do, we're going to do some uh, next content and then also some bingo. We got a PVM bingo coming up and then leagues after that. So look forward to some of those and stay tuned. Oh, one other thing. Uh, we're going to continue on the group Ironmans and not our main mains because them are basically our mains now. Uh, we enjoyed them enough that we're just going to play on those. So we'll keep making guides about the group Ironman as well. And also, um, while we say that, we are going to be going on our mains, obviously, for doing next, just because we don't have the All right. skills yet on our group Iron Man. Yep. Yeah, it would have been nice to get a lot farther, but it's slower than I thought. So. Yep, yep. <laughs> and and, and time. Uh, yeah, and some IRL, um, you know. Changes, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yep. All righty. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you in the next episode.